More than 5 million children have food allergies, and now a new study finds the time of year babies are born may put them at higher risk for a lifetime of dangerous allergic conditions. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez explains. It turns out that food allergies often begin from an unlikely place, the skin. What starts as eczema can set off a chain of events that can progress to food and pollen allergies and even asthma. It's called the atopic march, and babies born in the fall seem to be at higher risk. Five-year-old A.J. Grady has always had eczema, but when he developed hives as he started eating solid food, his mom Jessica suspected this wasn't just about his skin. He had eczema pretty much from birth. So just the combination of the two things really kind of clued us into that he had a food allergy. AG's allergies to milk and citrus are part of a common chain reaction known as the atopic march. It begins in infancy with eczema and leads to food allergies, asthma, and hay fever. The skin barrier is quite disrupted in kids with eczema and even our kids with food allergy. And so the skin is actually a way for different microbes and even food allergens to get into our body. Studies at National Jewish Health in Denver found that one of the risk factors is being born in the fall. September, October, November babies are at higher risk. We think if we can intervene you know, at a very, very, very young age, even you know, right after the baby's out of the womb, then potentially that's a way for us to you know, try to stop the development of this atopic march. That intervention could include introducing allergenic foods early in life and lots of moisturizing creams and ointments to seal and keep the skin barrier intact, preventing allergens from getting into the body and setting off the atopic march. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News.